This has to be the highest paying salary any product manager has ever had. I'm kind of in disbelief right now. Hey everyone, Elisa here, and in this channel we talk about all things product, tech, career, life. If any of that's interesting to you, please subscribe and like this video. Uh, also check out my Instagram and feel free to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with me where we can chat about career or interview prep or presentation prep. I genuinely love those calls, so uh, let's chat. Anyway, let's dive into this video because it is kind of a mind-boggling video. So first I wanna talk about what this role is and what the actual salary range was for this role because it's kind of amazing. And then second, in the latter half, I wanna talk about what this job actually means for product management going forward because I think it does have some significant implications. So let's start with the job. This job was posted by Netflix in summer 2023 and the salary range made some waves. A lot of people talked about it. Now, the salary range was anywhere from $300,000 all the way to $900,000. What? <laughs> that's, ins that's insane. So this was a role that was posted to oversee their machine learning platform, which is obviously an area where Netflix wants to invest right now. AI is kind of the name of the game. Even in the job description, the description said that this person would not just work on improving the algorithm, which a lot of times when we think of AI or machine learning, that's where the focus is. But the description indicated that this job would be used to actually create content. Now on Netflix, there's already a dating show called Deep Fake Love that uses deep fake video in the actual show itself. It's a dating show where apparently they show deep fake videos of significant others cheating. And then people have to guess if that's actually their significant others cheating or if it's a deep fake video. I take some issue with that show in general, but you know, maybe some people are into it. I'm not sure. But regardless, that's a clear way of how Netflix is leaning into AI for actual content generation, not just improving the algorithm. Now this job posting, it went viral. A lot of people were talking about it because that range up to 900,000 is is just, it's kind of shocking. If you look at Netflix's career page right now and search for product manager jobs, you can see that there are a number of jobs that have a range above not just $500,000, but even $700,000. So they're dishing out some serious cash right now for product managers. And for those of you not in product management, you're probably Googling how to become a product manager so that you can start making, I don't know, as much as a professional athlete without having the skills of a professional athlete. But just, just there's one disclaimer I, I want you to be aware of. The average salary for a product manager is about $110,000 annually, which is awesome. And the average salary for a senior product manager is about $142,000. And those are great average salaries. Like you should still be interested in product management just for that. So let's talk about what all this means. There are a few things. Now, first of all, Netflix has incredibly high standards for its people. They hire the best of the best. And if people are not performing above and beyond, well, then they won't last there very long. There was actually just a podcast episode with the CTO of Netflix who talked about the Keeper's Test. And the Keeper Test has been something that people have talked about for a while. And at Netflix, it means that if a manager wouldn't do every single thing in their power to keep an employee from leaving, then that employee is not passing the Keeper Test and the manager should maybe have that tough conversation super high performance and expectations are just embedded in the Netflix culture. So that's one thing to keep in mind. They're not just hiring any Joe Schmo off the side of the street. They, they have very high standards. Secondly, and more impactfully for other product managers out there, is that companies are likely gonna dish out more and more money for AI savvy product managers. It's clearly this next horizon for tech companies and 
honestly, even non-tech companies, everyone is interested in AI right now. And so they're going to invest in people who can deliver AI capabilities. And not just deliver AI capabilities, but deliver AI capabilities that will transform their products. There's also one last thing that I want to call out that has just had me thinking about this whole situation quite a bit. When I look at other streaming platforms, I don't see these types of salary ranges being advertised in product manager postings. It makes me think that Netflix is really at the forefront of embedding AI into its content and its product. It'll be really interesting to see if and how Netflix is bet on all this pays off. And we've seen Netflix lead the charge before, right? Like they were first to market in terms of streaming. So it'll be interesting to see if and how other platforms start following in Netflix's wake if Netflix's bet pays off. So there you have it. That is, I'm fairly certain, the highest paying product manager job ever posted. It'll be so interesting to see if that's a new trend or if that was just a crazy one-off. I hope this was interesting to you. I mean, my mind is still spinning about it. I, I've been thinking about this job for a while. Pfft, I'd love to make 900K. So that's a wrap. A super quick video. I just wanted to talk about this job. I think it has some interesting implications for the future. And um, just want to extend like a massive congratulations to whoever landed that job. And also a future congratulations to whoever lands those like $700,000 jobs because nice work, you did it. You're probably making more than like some baseball players, which is just, that's cool. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna hear more, please subscribe. Also check out my Instagram. And if you wanna chat one-on-one, -on -one, be sure to book a call. That's all. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you next time. Bye friends.